So for the second abstract, um, we looked at uh, the 250 patients treated with Avelumab in the second line setting. These are metastatic bladder cancer patients that receive Avelumab um, uh, after progressing on platinum-based chemotherapy. And we did a post hoc analysis of high-risk groups. And the high-risk groups included liver metastases, uh, patients with high or low albumin, patients that were older, greater than or less than 75 years of age, um, patients um, that had um, renal insufficiency and depending on the site of disease, upper tract or lower tract disease. We looked at the response rates and how they did um, in terms of overall outcome. The overall response rate for the patient population was 16.5 months. Um, however, when we looked at patients with that were younger, um, they did a little bit better. Patients um, that were less than 75 years of age, the response rate was 25% versus 13%. Um, when we looked at patients with um, liver metastases, the response rate was uh, 6% versus 22 percent. So that was a, a big difference. Um, also patients that had low albumin, um, the response rate was 2.2 uh, percent versus 19 percent. So these are big differences. In terms of the progression-free survival, um, there wasn't a big difference in terms of the progression-free survival in these cohorts. Um, in terms of the adverse events, we also looked at the adverse events um, to see if there was higher incidence of adverse events in the patients with high-risk um, groups, and, and there wasn't. So this was reassuring to us.